So, but anyway, um, so we, we took the Tom Tom, and at first it had us going to one city. And I told John that no, he was wrong. So he addressed it, sent us to another city. No big deal. There wasn't much time added on. To it. Well, then he decides to, um, and this is when we've gotten down to like the last hour of our trip. No, it, was, it wasn't even that much. It was like the last 30 to 45 minutes of our trip. So I've driven like eight and a half hours by this point. Whoa. Taking in the delays and all that, I've been awake for going on 22 hours by the point. Oh, my stars. And um, so, we, so John takes the Tom Tom and he adjusts it to where we are going to the um, – to the actual hotel, and it adds another 30 minutes to it, and I just looked at Joe, and I was like, there's no way I can drive for another hour. 30 minutes, I could do, but another hour, I can't. So I pulled over, I gave him the car, and I'm just, I can't sleep in cars, which is the other reason I was like, I'm just going to drive it. So I'm just kind of laying there watching the road go by, and we to this town, or we we passed one town that it was originally going to it was uh, Centralia, and um, I texted Janie and told her that we just passed her town. So she gets up and gets ready. Yeah, I know that it's 15 minutes from Centralia to where we need to be. 30 minutes goes by and we're not there yet. <laughs> what the hell was up with your tom tom? So we get to this other town called Carlisle. And um, well, we have no idea where we are, but I see a sign that says Salem, which is where we were staying, this way. I'm like, John, I think Tom got us really lost. And he, what do you mean? I said, I just saw a sign that said Salem that way. He's like, okay, well, we'll just see where the Tom Tom takes us, and then, you know, if it's long, then, you know, we'll fix it. So we're staying at the Super 8 Hotel. And we see one off in the distance. And we're like, okay, it's taking us to the wrong Super 8. Well, then it tells us to take a road just before the driveway to the Super 8. Okay, so we take the road. Next thing we know, Tom Tom goes, turn right, and then sharp left. Then you have reached your destination. I look out to the right, and I see a ditch, a barbed wire fence, and we field. <laughs> Oh no, so you were almost reliving that Doctor Who scene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I almost lived it like epically, but uh so like, Tom Tom's trying to kill us. I've and always then wondered. like in my sleep deprived mind I was like, I probably shouldn't have called Tom Tom a douchebag a few hours back. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can just imagine when you finally get to the destination, it's going, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> yeah, especially considering it. No, the irony of the situation is, and any Doctor Who fan will laugh their asses off at this part. Give me just a second. <coughs> My. Anyway, the Tom Tom's voice is a Dalek. Oh, no. And I was wearing a shirt that said, Hello, I'm the doctor. Basically, run. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tom Tom was trying to exterminate me. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, oh my God. goodness. <laughs> so, eventually you ended up at the correct hotel. Yes, in the correct town, even, after we called and we're like, where are we? We finally... Okay, so that was the epic portion of the way there. The way back, I have to say, even better. <laughs> oh, no. Or should I say, oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Anyway, so we um, we go to leave, and by the time we leave, it's about oh, 3.30 in the afternoon, which puts us getting at home about 12, 12.30, something like that. And um, and it's all fine and dandy. We'll basically get there at midnight, which is when we left the, you know, to come up there. Cool. We can do that. So we're going along, going along. A few delays happen, blah, blah, blah. And every time you stop, it's like slowly ending on time. So by the time it gets to the point where I'm like, okay, no more stops, anything. It's like we have two hours left of the trip. 
we're supposed to be getting home at 2.30 in the morning. Whoa. I'm exhausted. I can't see straight. I am just so, uh, I'm tunnel vision just going, okay, get home. Just get home. Well, the bad part is the tom tom is slowly counting down the miles that you're going. So to me, it felt like I was going 20 miles each time, and then I'd look up and I'd only gone a mile. I'm like, oh, oh damn. So then we get into Louisiana. We get into our home state. We're in the home stretch. I've woken up again by this point. I'm happy. I'm ready to go. Speed limit is 60. Like that, that's what the actual speed limit was. I wasn't speeding that badly, although I was doing like 65, <laughs> I think. I'm pretty sure it was 65. 62 or 65, I don't remember. 62 sounds better. Okay, then we'll go with 62. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I told that's what I told the cops. Yes. But um <laughs> <laughs> You're not speeding at sixty two, you would be at sixty five. Yes. Yeah, so anyway. Sixty two, yeah. But uh anyway, so we get into this little town called Bernice. And it is like a spot on the map. Like someone took ink and went and there you go. That's it. This town is not that big at all. So we cross into Bernice, and I looked at John, and there's two different ways you can get home. I was asking him which of the two ways would be better and quicker, and he said, I don't know. I said, well, what, we need to figure it out because we are, bam, deer. Oh. oh, my goodness. So we hit the deer, and it, it threw me backwards. And um, John, I remember hearing John go, oh, shh, yeah. <laughs> and then the next word out of his, or the next words out of his mouth, which still crack me up, were, the deer is history. And I'm like, the honest to God first thought that went through my brain was, you're more concerned about the deer? <laughs> and when I told him that, he goes, well, I knew we were fine. I said, I knew we were fine, but you were more concerned about the deer? I was more concerned about the car. <laughs> There's like plenty of Bambies running around out there. Exactly. I wanted to go home. <laughs> I can't go home if the car's dead. And so I, I'm in so much shock. Apparently, I'm like stopped in the middle of the road, and John has to tell me to pull over. Mm -hmm. So I get pulled over, and um, we go to the front, and the car is hissing. It's like, ah! So. We turn it off, we have the hazards going, and there's like major damage done to the front of my car. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> poor car. And you know, I was looking at something the other day, and I've posted pictures on my Facebook, so for any of you that are friends with me on Facebook, you know, go look and you'll see what I'm talking about. All of the damage, really, is more so on the driver's side than on the passenger side. Mm. So, by all accounts, that car should have started spinning. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense. I did something, apparently, and I don't know what I did, but I'm glad I did it. <laughs> and we're pretty sure someone was watching out over you because so many things could have just changed, even a, you know, a skerrick, and things would have been totally different. Mm -hmm. If I had... If I had twitched at the wrong moment, that everything would have ended in an entirely different way. But um, so we called the cops and told the cops out there, and that was a Charlie Fox trot from hell. <laughs> <laughs> the spiel went something. Like this. No, okay, we are we're south. We are going southbound. We are going to Ruston. We are 10 miles north of Highway 151, so you are going from Ruston. <laughs> no, no, we're going to Ruston. Okay, they are northbound. No, we're southbound. <laughs> About 10 minutes. I am not kidding you. Oh. So the officer finally says, screw you to the dispatcher and comes to find us. Mm -hmm. Surprise, surprise. He follows our directions and finds us. <gasps> wow, fancy that. I bet you give better directions than that bloody Tom Tom too. <laughs> yeah, but 
go into the nearest wheat field and <laughs> don't forget to go down right, the ditch. Yeah, and write doctor in it, and there you go. We're there. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so as we're sitting there, I'm try I'm skipping all the boring parts and going straight for the funny one. Mm-hmm. Um, as we're standing there, we see the first cop show up, he, and he sits in his car for a little while, and then all of a sudden, another cop shows up. I'm like, are you serious? You need two cops to do this? 